the Chinese Navy's next generation of frigates, the Type O-54B, will have longer operating range, more functions, and stronger combat capabilities. It is a development of the Type O-54A frigate, and is around 50% larger than its predecessor. In August 2023, the first of the class was launched, which reportedly began testing recently, according to Navy News and South China Morning Post. The Type O-54B frigate is expected to succeed the People's Liberation Army's Navy's current workhorse Type O-54A. The Type O-54B will likely join aircraft carriers, amphibious ships, and destroyers in far sea voyages after entering service, experts said, noting that the frigate should have high versatility, reliability, cost efficiency, and comfortability. Analysis on openly available imagery suggests that the Type O-54B has a full displacement of about 6,000 tons, more than the 4,000 tons of the Type O-54A, with about 147 meters in length and 18 meters in width. This is a significant expansion compared to the Type O-54A. The new images reveal further details and characteristics of this successor to the vulnerable Type O-54A frigate, which saw production in large numbers over the past 15 years. For weaponry, the VRS is the HAKJ-16 design with 32 cells similar to the O-54A, featuring HQ-16 type medium-range surface-to-air and dual-edge anti-submarine missiles. Furthermore, the Type O-54B design features land carriers supporting two quadruple box launchers for anti-ship missiles and midships. An exact type remains unconfirmed, and YJ-83 or YJ-12 anti-ship cruise missile are both plausible candidates. Other already confirmed armament includes the 100mm main gun, a closing weapon system, likely the Type 1130, a HQ-10 missile closing weapon system, and lightweight torpedo launchers. In spite of its bigger size, the weaponry system of the Type O-54B has not seen a significant increase, but with a much larger hangar capable of carrying two Z-20 anti-submarine helicopters, observers expect the frigate to play a greater role in anti-submarine operations and will likely be partnering with the Type O-55 and Type O-52D destroyers for longer high sea missions. About the propulsion, a closer look at the smokestack arrangement clarifies that Type O-54B will indeed feature combined diesel and diesel propulsion. As such, the new design remains in line operationally with the preceding Type O-54A. This choice likely also reflects the intention to mass production a modern frigate design while ensuring affordability and reliability in equal measures. A prominent design element of the Type O-54B appears to be widespread optimization of the hull, resulting in a more stealthy combatant. This includes shielding for both radar and infrared signatures beyond overall hull shopping. The most obvious design feature here is the fitting of various covers over vents and openings on the frigate. The general implementation is not a first, as the Type O55 large destroyer shows very similar design aspects. 
tap O54 B, however, seems to take signature reduction measures even further. Notable features include a cover for the starboard bow anchor, something not seen on the previous Chinese combatants. Prominent shrouds also cover large vents on both sides next to the rigid inflatable bow's base. The preceding Tab 054A was designed in the early 2000s, and the Chinese Navy has commissioned over 40 vessels of its TAP in the past 15 years. But with the rapid expansion of the People's Celebration Army Navy in both number and capability, the older TAP has since fallen out of favor. The latest Tab 054B vessel being built in Guangzhou is for the Chinese Coast Guard. There are only two vessels currently under construction. The second ship was launched in October and has since been fitted up in Guangpu Wanchong Shipyard in Guangzhou. The construction pace may suggest a lengthy trial phase before moving to proper volume production. A cautious initial phase followed by large volume production would mirror People's Liberation Army Navy procurement with the Type 054A frigate and the Type 052D destroyer. In any case, this program for a Chinese Navy next generation frigate appears to be well on track for now. Xiong Xiongping, a military affairs commentator and retired People's Liberation Army officer, said after nearly two decades of service for the Type 054A, it is natural for the Navy to acquire and deploy a new type of frigate incorporating the latest technology and tactics. The Type 054B couldn't be more suitable for ocean operations, those far from Chinese coasts, and would better fit an escort role in an aircraft carrier battle group. It can hunt hostile submarines on the periphery of the carrier group and can also conduct anti-aircraft and anti-missile operations to assist the air defense network formed by destroyers, he said. Thanks to its larger aviation area, Song said the new vessel would be able to carry a Z-20 helicopter to conduct reconnaissance and hunt submarines. By contrast, the Type 054A can only carry a smaller Z-9 helicopter and has shorter airborne time and fewer weapons. <laughs>